In this video, we're going to start digging into more advanced features of the Flask framework. Particularly, we're going to see how to create different routes and how to respond to them when they're accessed by our users or different clients. The first thing we have to understand is the concept of a route. It's basically the different path that our users will be, will be able to navigate in our web application. So for example, this is our site, the remoter site. In this case, we're accessing the particular path interaction to Python programming, which is the path that defines the intro to Python course. Similarly, you can access the advanced Python programming course with a different path or a different route we will be able to define these different routes with Flask so we can respond, of course, with different content for each one of the different routes that we want to define. Doing this with Flask is going to be simple. We have already defined different routes without explicitly saying it by using the app.route decorator. In this case, in our, in our fifth module, what we're doing is we are creating two different functions and they respond to two different paths. So the first one works as it used to work. It's just a simple function that returns a render template function that is basically rendering the template authors.html. So I'm going to pull that out. And we are going to see here a list of authors that we can just render in this page. What we want to do next is define a general route that will serve for different authors. So for example, we will have something like author slash Poe, author slash Borges, author slash Austin. And we want to access the information of that author for that particular route. What we see is that it's impossible for us to define all those routes statically in our Python code. We need a dynamic way to generate those routes. The way to do that with Flask is by using these symbols that you can see right here and specifying the dynamic name that will change with different, in this case, authors. So every time we invoke slash author slash author slash name, we will be getting this particular view and the author's last name is going to be bind to the name contained right here. So for example, if I access the author po, author slash po, what I'm doing is basically I am passing the name author last name, now it's going to be po. So our application, for example, can go to the database and look for the author with the last name po. What we're doing in this particular example is different. What we're doing is just getting a dictionary with the author's data indexed by its last name, but uh, it's a simple way to define it without having to worry about a database right now. So again, we have a dynamically generated route, which is basically slash author slash and the last name of the author. We, we can see how we can generate that URL. We could, for example, just hard code it and do something like slash author slash po. So every time we need to include that particular route, we should have to hard code it. There is a different and better way. Suppose that we ever need to change this particular view. It has to be moved to another place. We should have to go to each one of the places we included the hard-coded view, like in this case, and we will have to manually change it. There is a better way, and that's, uh, that's going to be performed with the URL slash form function from the template engine. In this case, you will say that you want to generate a URL for a URL for the author view. In this case, this is the author view right here, and that's the parameter that we're including in the URL for function. And you want to create a URL for the author function with the parameter author's last name, Borges. So what we are generating is basically, I am going to show you in, in a second, the URL slash author slash Borges. 
as you can see right here. The difference is again, we are not hard coding the URL. If we ever need to change it, if we are never ever need to change this particular route, the URL for function will take care for us of all the details. So let's recap for a second. We said we are defining a route. We are doing just hard coding some uh, prepended string. In this case, it's slash author slash, and then we have a dynamic part that will change depending on the last name passed. The question now is we are, what happens if we include here an author that doesn't exist? So we are looking these authors, right? This author info, and what happens if the author doesn't exist? So I'm just going to try that out. And as you guys will see, we have a key error. And that of course is expected because the author Austin is not created in this dictionary. And we're just trying to access the author without checking if that particular author exists in our data store. So what we want to do next is of course do some particular checks to verify that the information is there and if it's not there we will want to raise custom errors and we're going to do it in our next video.